Hi everybody, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back. I want to take this time to say thank you to everyone who follows my channel, whether you are a subscriber or not. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for staying with me from the beginning. I'm sure people have come and gone, but the people that are still here with me, I thank you and welcome newcomers too. I do hope that these readings give you some peace or some guidance, some help of some sort. I know it's difficult as it is a general reading, but hopefully some of these resonate with you. Thank you for a great year, and I do hope that you've had a blessed year. And for those of us who've had a lot of downs more than ups, let's keep our thoughts positive that these are the gateways, the activations, the realignments to bring us into 2019 that will be new beginnings for us and hopefully better ones and better outcomes. For those of you that have had a great year, God bless, and that's wonderful. And maybe you can share your happiness and joy with others who've maybe had a tough time of it and give them some hope that these are the ebbs and flows in life and things do change. But that being said, I'm doing the reading for December 22nd, 2018, which is the full moon in Cancer. Now, Cancer is... This fourth house in our natal chart, it's at the very bottom of the chart, okay, by the IC, and it's an angle. It is a cardinal sign, Cancer. Um, so we're saying, okay, this, this is at zero degrees, this full moon. And when you have one of those critical degrees of zero or 29 in a cardinal sign, that's really, they're saying, with astrologers say, it's, it's really trying to get some attention here. It's really trying to activate a response from you. Now, the fourth house is your inner strengths, okay? It is your roots, your foundation, your family, your ancestors. It is representative of the mother and your home or the person who was like a mother figure to you, who was, whoever was loving, nurturing, caring. Some of us grew up without a mom in our lives or some of us grew up, we didn't have a great relationship with a mom or maybe the person who was our mom was an aunt or an uncle, a grandparent, a, an older sibling, Whatever it is, even if it's not biological, that person would represent whomever and however you are loved, nurtured, and protected in a home sense, and how you do with others. So looking at that energy, depending on where cancer is in your chart, is how it will be expressed. But the energy of cancer, so you say it's the crab. It has a hard shell. Inside, it's soft and mushy. Okay, it carries its home on its back. Um, it goes around and its big, big eyes just peer at everything with its little snappers and it steps back or to the side before it goes forward to make a decision. It really scopes things out. Um, it has the energy to go out of its home and go around, but it retreats back to that safe, warm comfort of its home that it carries with it wherever it goes. All right, Cancerian energy is usually very loving and nurturing and service to others. It loves to nurture people with food. Many Cancerians are in the food service industry or of service to others. You know, maybe they are in the medical field too um, or in agriculture. They love to feed and nurture and protect. And usually that reflects in their homes. They have beautiful homes. So that, that's very important. That's the energy I'm talking to you about is that Cancer energy depending on how it's expressed in your chart. Now, we know the full moon brings things to light. It's illumination. It's revelations. But it is an ending and a release also, and it's a harvesting. We clear away so we can begin again. And with the zero degrees in this cardinal sign of cancer, we really feel like, yeah, this is something beautiful to begin with us. And you really got a good, like, fresh start. It's at a zero degrees. It's like you're clicking into a whole new phase. So let's see how this is going to affect us all. I'm doing this reading with my new deck, um, The Good Tarot. Um, my son Grant and future daughter Molly got these for me for Christmas, and I got them early, so I'm so excited to use them. It's an oracle deck. It's set up like your regular tarot of um, the Rider weight, but it's expressed differently in that it's an oracle, and I would read the meanings to you. And I started doing this and I had to re-record, so I'm sorry, two of the cards are down. But we're looking at the first position about um, with the full moon, what's coming uh, 
to be released from us. And I have the Ace of Earth. Now you'd say, this is a great card. Aces are beginning. So it would be like the Ace of Pentacles. Now this falls into the time frame for Earth because um, Cancer's polar opposite is Capricorn. And on the 21st of December is the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. It is the Earth energy of Capricorn. So I feel like this is talking to that time of the year. And the Ace of Earth would represent not having to worry about money for a while that you're in a good place in, in your health and grounding stability. But in this position where we're looking at it, what is being released? So what's ending and harvesting and we're letting go of? Maybe many of you had a good cycle, you know, and um, there was blessings in your life and you were able to build a solid foundation. And, and that that is done with. You've finished that. It, that is complete. You've laid the foundation and you have the successes that you were looking for. For others, maybe you didn't have that. And this is the beginning of a new cycle where you are releasing the cycle that wasn't so good for you. And you're welcoming in a period where you have grounding stability. And you see this stag is, is there out alone in this muted area. And it looks like there's a mist around them. You know, we know with a stag also, it's someone in spirit watching over us. It's very strong. It stands alone here. And it looks like it's coming out from the darkness or there's illumination behind it for where it's, it's behind him, the light, but he's able to see what's in front of him. So maybe it, it was rough for you in the past few months or even this whole year. And this is going to be a release of that. And it's going to be opening a time of some shedding the light on you, a blessing for a new beginning where you're grounded, whatever your vocation or trade is, or your schooling, uh, your courses in school, or your physical body, this is all earth. Tangible things would be money, finances, your home, especially with cancer, uh, a car, the chariot is cancer, and that represents also modes of transportation. So for you, maybe you're getting a new car or a new home, or you're closing on that home before the end of the year for taxes. But it is about releasing a period that wasn't uh, very blessed and you're entering into a new um, period of blessings with spirits with you here. And for those of you that have had things going really well for you, you've laid the foundation for this blessings to go forward. So let's see what we have with the Ace of Earth, what the Oracle card says. They're very beautiful. Let's see if I can only find it for you. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so with the Ace of Earth, it's saying prosperity is in its purest form. Concrete results in the physical world, abundant, it's made manifest. So with with releasing the past that wasn't leading up to all the things that you wanted or the outcome you got wasn't what you hoped for so with this card we're releasing that energy so that we could welcome in this prosperity in its purest form and the affirmation would be i recognize the many forms of abundance and plenty and i align myself with success i can generate gold from the resources I have at my fingertips, I make an impact. The essence of prosperity is taking form in the material world. Okay, I love that. She's, she speaks to you as if she's speaking from spirit to you. So you're saying, I can. These are affirmations for you to bring into form into your life. Now, next we were asking about what is being illuminated, okay, in our lives. And we got another earth card with the two of earth. And look, there's a progression from the ace, which would be the one, to the two. Now the two is talking about, you see she has these two, it would be like the two of pentacles in the traditional tarot. And she's got them, look, she really isn't looking at this one or this one. In other decks, she's looking at one or the other. She's got one above her head and one, she's like teeter-tottering these two things. So we're looking at what's gonna be revealed to us. So. There might be a choice that we've been trying to make. Maybe you didn't know if you should stay in this job or this relationship, or you should take this raise or promotion. You should move. 
buy this house, get this new car, end this relationship, start this new relationship. This is choices in our lives. But the, with the earth energy, we know it could be about finances, but it could be about our grounding stability, our relationships, our bodies, vocation, trade, and also to my student friends, definitely about your schooling. So this is a choice, but she's not fretting over one or the other. It looks like she's got her sights set and concentrating. This is really thinking things through. So with this illumination, it could very well be with this card that things will be revealed to you now and this choice that you need to make. And sometimes there are choices that must be made that we deny. We won't face that it has to be done. And this is a card that is showing us how we can deal with these choices. It's saying for the two of earth, pleasurable work, adaptability, balance between work and play. This is your affirmation, dear ones. My efforts bring me joy. Play and work are not separate because what I am doing is actually fun. If conditions change, I can switch gears easily. I am fully present in the excitement of creativity and am eager to experience the surprises that occur. When seeds I have planted take root, sprout, and develop in unexpected ways. This is a time for flexibility and trust in how the universe will shape what is coming into being. One way or another, my dreams manifest in the material world. These are all positive affirmations. I always read with light and love. Even when the cards seem a little bleak to some people, I like to read them in the most positive outcome. And that's why she, I love this deck because she's approaching everything in a positive way. Yes, things go sour sometimes in our lives and not everything is pleasant. But I love that she has the right way of looking at things. I love to look at things in the same way that I look for a positive outcome. And I always tell you to ask the spirit what good is coming out of this. So we have now for our, our next card. Let's see what it's got to be. So going forward with this releasing and this illumination, what am I to do with this? This epiphany, this illumination, what has come to light for me. What is the best advice, Spirit, that we have? And again, I'm available for personal readings because I know this doesn't always resonate with everyone. And you can find the information below in the memo. And I'm doing a dollar a minute special to the end of January 2019. And not just for newcomers. This is for everyone. Okay, let's see. All right, this is here. Oh, I love that strength. How beautiful is that? Number eight to me always talks to me about grounding manifestation in our earth. To me, it rep represents Saturn. It doesn't for everyone. And I love that because Saturn rules Capricorn, which is the polar balance to our Cancer. And this card is strength. It's a major arcana. And we know with strength, it's like the fool sees her in the field with this lion and he's terrified for her but he sees that the lion has submitted himself to her and when he goes to approach her to ask her why he looks into her eyes and he could see why the lion is at peace because she has such peace and gentleness in her there's no fear or stress from the lion that he's being harmed forced coerced or controlled now strength talks to us about we all have more strength than we give ourselves credit for you know, remembering that spirit never puts more on our soul than we could ever bear in any one lifetime. We know this number is infinity. It's energy that always was, always is, and always will be. As you and I are, we take new form. But we look at our gentle, assertive ways. So going forward with this, we're saying use our strength in a gentle, assertive way without being controlling, okay, and pushy and coercive honoring everyone for who they are and what they are and how they express themselves because that could be you that could be me but remembering taking this energy going forward you have all the strength you need in this world when you tap into it and believe and it says here strength endurance your affirmation is i can go the distance and know that everything occurs in divine appropriate timing 
I have courage as I manifest miracles. When I allow spirit to work through me, I am strong enough to move mountains and overcome any obstacles inside or out. So taking that with you with all this earth energy here, even though this is a fiery energy, strength is actually um, Leo in the Tarot, and we do have our lion here. We're looking at Leo is the fifth house of love and compassion. Um, strength to have fun in your life and enjoy yourself. I really feel the message for this going forward with this energy is that of building a new solid foundation and having fun and knowing that you can adjust to anything and you can ambulate between one situation or another, like it says, switching gears easily. As long as you keep saying, I can adapt to anything, I can change with anything, I can accept anything. These are activations, they're not challenges, they're not pitfalls. These are my growth curves. This is the story of my life that's unfolding. I am safe in my home, in my body, in myself. I love, I am love. And putting all that energy into positive, loving thoughts and knowing that you have the strength to manifest everything that you want into your life. Now, I know we fall off the wagon, but just get back on that wagon. Sometimes we have to sit back and take a rest from it until we feel the strength to continue again. But just know you do have the reserve of strength that you don't give yourself credit for. And with this full moon starting at zero, let's start a new cycle of grounding stability, financial security, the things that we want in our lives that are tangible to come to us. Knowing that we can adapt to any situation with grounded energy, okay, grounded energy and stability to get what we want. And then love and strength will see us through everything. Even if you don't have anyone in your life to express this to, you need to start it with yourself. That's where the seeds always begin. Your home is your body. You love and nurture it. And when you resonate that loving nurturance for yourself, you can't help but manifest to you peaceful places and things of the same frequency. Well, I hope this reading does help you and that you have um, a beautiful Merry Christmas, Happy New Year for those who celebrated Hanukkah. I hope it was blessed and healthy. And I really do wish everyone a healthy, happy 2019. And knowing that you're not alone, Spirit is always there to guide you. Always it will illuminate your way if you would have the strength to trust and believe that they're there. And there are times in our strength we must be vulnerable and ask for help. And I wish that help is always there for you. So thank you, everybody. Happy New Year also. And as always, I wish you the best. <laughs>